Hello again, Struck Club. Today I'm bringing you another uh, early endgame starter build for Torchlight Infinite. Yesterday I brought you four, uh, today I'm bringing you four more. Again, uh, both days, one for each hero. Those builds are aimed at um, fresh out of the story um, and right into the, the early levels of the endgame players. Players who are around level 50 ish, 55, 56, under 60, let's say. Um, and uh, don't have much resources to invest into gear, but uh, can spare um, the occasional flame, dust, flame, sand, etc. out there um, into, into the auction house to get some basic starter gear going. This setup is another dual wielding setup, but this one is with swords. I wanted daggers or quotes, I didn't find um, lower level requirement built around me items that were reasonably priced and I decided to go for a build around two swords called repeater and and uh, Lotus coffin um, and um, I, I wanted to make a build that could work with chaos um, or code that's why I took those uh, things and I decided to go for that chaos code synergy um, so this will be a trust build it will look different than my previous build um, uh, with the slamming uh, of the ground, the ground shaker, but I think uh, some of you out there would really enjoy it. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed, buckle up and let's go. In terms of uh, skills and how to build this, there are two ways. Way number one is frost spike and building around cold damage. Way number two is corrosion spike and building around chaos damage. Uh, so I have frost pike uh, instead of corrosion. I tried both, both work, and then uh, I have added code instead of added chaos. But you can just swap those with the chaos equivalents, um, and then you've got uh, yourself the setup. And you can swap the biting code with the chaos version, and you've got the other setup there. Um, which one you go for? It to, I guess depend on your preference and uh, on your bonuses from items where you have more cold damage in your gear or more chaos. Uh, I've decided to stack both the crit chance and the crit damage increases and attack focus for even more crit, uh, crit rating. And what's interesting is um, one of the items we have here um, actually works like if you've played Wolves and like the trial belt. 30% um, poison chance targets uh, poisoned by you explode on death dealing 5% of their maximum life as chaos damage to nearby enemies which was very great for mobbing very great for mobbing so um, what you've got here I've got a potion with a cooldown for HP fountain of life with cooldown another healing skill and this one also heals me and uh, gives me extra melee skill damage uh, based on um, the enemies up to 8 times with uh, extended duration on this. I've also got auto defense with stone skin and in this chain I'll put other defensive things uh, um, uh, later on. Um, here I've got auras with restrain, I've got curse on hit with um, biting coat and, uh, and I've put steadfast as well um, uh, under restrain here. And here uh, I will eventually have uh, swiftness, but right now it's uh, I don't have the mana to afford sealing this, so it's just not gonna work right away. Um, but eventually I'll get more mana and that's gonna be fine. Um, keep in mind uh, we are using HP instead of mana when using skills. So having 99% sealed mana is acceptable. Uh, the skill cost is HP, you see why um, in a moment in the talent trees and yes here is the talent trees uh, setup I am only using uh, 14 points into God of Might and I've put Blood Drinker 20, Blood Striker 15, uh, 20 points and Blade Runner 30 points um, I mean eventually once you get more levels you would uh, have some of those notes but I decided to prioritize Blade Runner for a few reasons. First of all, multi strike chance when wielding a sword 20%, and then another 20% here, that's already 40%. And you can get another 30%, and that will be 50. And then you can get another 20%, and that will be 70% multi strike chance um, if, you, if you invest a total of, uh, of around um, 7 points, uh, which is pretty solid. See, this gives you life steal and shield steal. Uh, and uh, it's nice again life and shield steel um, 
then this one sword damage attack speed when wielding a sword, crit strike rating when wielding a sword, attack damage when wielding a sword, um, then here we have maximum HP, life regeneration um, uh, speed, uh, mana restored on hit, uh, maximum life, maximum mana, uh, maximum life uh, armor evasion, maximum life armor evasion, defense which boosts both, um, not both, all three of armor evasion and energy shield, um, which is solid. Um, crit rating here, crit rating um, and damage there, attack damage, uh, attack skill area and attack damage here. Uh, in terms of major talents we have uh, Chained Slash, multi strikes deal 35% increased damage, I really love this. What you can try is uh, using Fane and uh, on top of Fane you can try using Dummy Puppet. I'm using Fighting Wheel which further um, gives me a uh, wife loss but uh, it, it also boosts Thrill. Um, as for how to get Thrill there are various ways, you can either add it on a skill but let's say we replace this like that and that's not a bad uh, option um, as well. Um, now Bird Striker, a dangerous spell. 50% extra skill cost, but mana cost is converted to life cost, which is what I talked about earlier. And I really like this, it, it's, a, it's a very solid way of setting up. My previous Barbarian build from the other, from yesterday was also using that. Um, now what we've got here is damage damage, crit rating, more crit rating, chance to mark, which is nice, uh, max life, uh, more max life, life regeneration, max life. Um, uh, where was this? Um, cast an attack skill costs one uh, life, three missing life added as a physical damage to attacks, which is nice. Life uh, steal again, and accuracy life steal again, accuracy of uh, at least 500% uh, life lost recently. And there is something, this one, deterrence, which I didn't notice triggering. I've been testing this and I didn't notice it triggering. Eventually, here you would probably want to get sweeping strike. Uh, I think Sweeping Strike would work until we can confirm that Deterrence works uh, and actually gets triggered. Um, then we have all sorts of other things in this tree. Um, for example, this one with Axe we no longer need, this one with Axe we, we don't need, that's why I decided to remove some points here. This AoE damage is not bad, eventually. This Maximum Life obviously will be useful. Uh, chance to avoid damage will be useful if you have good evasion, so not right away. Um, hardened is not bad, um, but again you have to make sure you get it. And um, this one, skill area and melee skill AOE damage, chance to, for air skills to do double damage. Attack speed when a marked enemy is nearby is nice, because we are marking enemies uh, when we crit them, we have that chance. So there are ways to grow this, and, uh, and under God of Might we've taken the damages, we've taken the life, we've taken the crits. And we've added some more HP regeneration. Eventually you grow this and you get this flat physical damage and you get this melee damage and flat physical damage. And um, I would suggest getting um, this uh, max life and uh, reduced skill cost. Uh, eventually you would get probably this um, stuff uh, for defensiveness, maybe you would get this physical damage added as fire and fire piercing, but that's not a fire build, so um, maybe just for the physical bonuses, who knows. Um, but yeah, there's uh, all sorts of good stuff in all the skill trees that you can invest in later when you get more skill levels. Uh, I mean talent points. Here come the traits. The traits. Um, at 32 I prefer Frenzy Furious. Uh, I love it because enters Berserk mode automatically at maximum rage, it's just convenient, very convenient to do that. Here we have Rampaging. Birds now has two supports, once again it's not a choice here. Tunnel Vision or Boiling Anger. Uh, I pretty much would love on a crit build to go Boiling Anger, but Tunnel Vision is also nice if you really, if you really want it. Extra burst damage but less uh, uh, burst area. Um, but um, minus 40% extra damage dealt by active skills when you're in Berserk. Um, I still think this one would be better for the way I like to play the setup. Reverberation or uncontrolled anger. I would prefer uncontrolled anger but again you would lose uh, the rage quicker. Um, so if you think you can burst them down quickly, sure. Otherwise, reverberation is nice. Uh, during the circuit strike, has a 24% chance to trigger burst with a 0.1 second cooldown, which is 
pretty good, good with uh, a lot of attack speed. Here, uh, like before, I'm using uh, multi strike and I'm using steam row. Um, uh, not steam, actually, it is steam row. Uh, steam row, um, this only triggers during, uh, during um, berserk for the burst. This, this doesn't work for your regular attack. It works for burst, which gets triggered by your regular attack. Just so, so we're clear here. And now we will talk about Pact Spirits, the Pact Tree, and the part of the game where some pay to win has made its way through. Um, so here I understand uh, we we won't have as much uh, as much Primo Christs, especially after the close. But uh, um, see, right now they're giving us Primo Christs, and we can roll for pets uh, almost every day, um, and that's fine. But uh, I understand you won't have the same ones as me. You won't have. Uh, you might have better ones. You might have worse ones. That's understandable. Um, if you're a low-level player, I think it might be smarter to prioritize whatever you can upgrade and upgrade it, uh, so you can get those extra two packed notes, and that could give you up to six extra packed notes. But there would be cases where you would get something nice uh, like this, and you might want to implement it uh, due to multi-strike stuff, for example. Um, or uh, extra crit damages and things like that based on what you want um, and that's fine then okay if you if you if you got something uh, good and you want to sacrifice two packed points for for the right uh, stats that you can put points into um, then that's understandable see I've got that 10 multi strike chance and I've got extra 10% here from those two I've got a chance to deal double damage 4% and another 4 that's 8 I've got 13 extra damage, 24 attack damage, so those got upgraded from 20 uh, to 24 because it's attack damage, it's not general. Um, but this one is the same, it's 13. Over here I've removed the XP for attack critical. Um, and I was lucky to have one of those upgraded. Um, I've, I'm keeping the movement speed because I don't feel the need of attack speed as much, uh, but movement speed really helps. Um, and here this is uh, boosting the, the final note uh, from 9 to 13 and it gives me Paralyze which is not bad. Over here I'll get some more attack damage and then later on I'll move on to maybe elemental resistances here and then drops. Because uh, I don't like the, um, the chance to avoid. But the chance to avoid could be nice if you can stack a ton of it. If you have a legendary one with the chance to avoid and put it. But again I would prioritize attack crits for this setup. Uh, multi strikes, chance to deal double damage, things like those. Uh, but ideally, something that gives you packed points. That would be uh, useful. Now, let's talk wood, uh, let's talk gear. Um, I put some small investment of some flame dust and uh, flame sand into those two swords. Um, this one I got, um, it's required level 48 and it's level 68 item level. Um, I could have tried to find a level 80 item level so I can get more energy but those would be more expensive and I settled for this. It was good enough. If you look at the details, um, I'm not that far from the maxes. Sure, I get 144 instead of 160 and um, um, the minimum is shitty, it's 101 but it could go to 120 but that's understandable. And the gear attack uh, crit strike rating is 19 out of 20% so it, it was a good bargain um, and it's, it's a good sword because it lets you explode enemies. It gives you physical damage converted to chaos. Gives you flat physical, gives you poison chance and poisoned enemies explode during 5% of their um, HP to nearby enemies. This one I got as uh, item level 42 meaning it doesn't give me energy but it's required level 24 to, to, to wear. This converts 100% physical damage to cold. It gives you physical damage, it gives you chance to freeze and 1% to freeze yourself for 0.5 seconds after defeating frozen enemies, but that's fine. It also restores 5% life of defeat on defeat, which works very nicely with this setup. This ring I found uh, it's, a, it's gonna be probably expensive, so most likely you wouldn't want um, that ring uh, unless you really have money to afford it. Um, not money, I mean. Uh, dusts and sands but i found it while farming and i kept it it gives you chaos resistance and more chaos resistance maximum life maximum energy shield and converts physical damage uh, to chaos which stacks with this one so that gives us 50 plus 11. Uh, this one can go up to up to 29 chaos resistance um, and up to 6 uh, energy and life 
and I, and the physical converted is always 11 and the, at the top always 16 physical. I would prioritize resistances a lot. Try to get at least 60% in every resistance if you can, 75 even better. Um, and if you can get flat physical, flat chaos, flat cold, uh, that would be great. That would be very, very great. Obviously life, crit strikes, stuff like that, you want those. Um, and you see I've put life in my gear just because my life was kind of low and I wanted to be able to at least survive a hit, uh, sometimes a two um, hit strike. Uh, but yeah, those two swords uh, are a good um, good uh, source of stuff. And if you need energy, just buy item level 80, uh, but required level 50, 50 something items that give you a lot of energy uh, and you can wear. Um, there could be some of those with good resistances on the market that you can buy for some flame dust or some flame um, scents. And, and then you can probably get from 100 to 100 energy um, with with uh, just a few dust and cents. If you want to get notified when I upload more content like this uh, one or guides or news and other builds for this game or others like it, water and not so water games, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to not miss out the notifications. Keep in mind that there's also memberships that grant my members uh, access to emotes and badges made by me as well as members can ask me on discord for some tutorials of some of the adobe uh, software thanks for watching all the way until the end keep it cool struck up until next time and good bye